Hello everybody and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to teach you how to send a ticket correctly in Warface. I remember I did one video about how to send a ticket in Warface but it's 4 years old and it was all in Crytek times. Now we have a different publisher to the game which is my.games and the way to send a ticket is different as well. But why do I create this video? Sending tickets should be simple right? So the answer is yes. But the problem is, not a lot of people actually send the tickets to Warface Team. So whenever you encounter a bug or a game problem, instead of complaining it on Discord or any other place, send a ticket to Warface Team and maybe in the future this bug will be fixed. But it's very important to send the ticket correctly. This is why I'm doing this video to show you how to do it. So let's begin. First of all, go to your Warface Launcher and click on Support. After that, you will see that the support page is opening up. If you are playing on the PS4, Xbox or Nintendo Switch, you have different support pages. I will leave them in the description down below. Whenever the support page opens up, you will see different subjects that you may have problems with. Let's say for example, I've encountered a bug in-game and I want to report it. So I would click on the in-game issues. And after that, you're going to be redirected into select question. In this section, you're going to see if your problem is a known problem. Maybe there is even a fix for that problem, for example, if you have an issue after the swarm update. So in this case, you don't have to send a ticket, because Warface already knows about this problem. So let's say I want to report a bug which is not known problem. So I would click on bug reports and after that Warface will have a small guide for me how to take a screenshot in game or how to record a video. The more detailed your ticket is, the better it is. Warface can identify the problem and what caused it. After that you're going to see still have questions, contact our experts. So you're going to click on that. Now before you start to fill all the form, there is one more important thing Warface needs. If it's a bug report, it's very important to add your diagnostic data. That way Warface can know what kind of internet you are using, what hardware you have on your computer and a lot of more things that will help Warface discover what caused the problem to happen. So how do you get and collect your diagnostic data? First of all, go to your Warface launcher. Click on the small arrow next to the play button and click collect diagnostic data. Click start and let it run in the background. Don't worry if it takes 20 or 30 minutes to finish. That's totally normal and happens to everyone. Just let it finish, don't cancel it in the middle. While you are waiting for your diagnostic data to be collected, use this time for good. Go to your ticket and start writing it. So write your account or login then write your email address and then you will have to do something very important. Date and time when you faced the problem. Choose the approximate or the exact time when the problem happened. Whenever you are going to add your diagnostic data to the ticket, Warface is going to check that exact time and date and they will see what caused the problem to happen. After that make sure to write your in-game nickname, the server you play on and after that you will have to write the name of the problem that you have. Don't describe the problem, just summarize it. For example, Heavy Gunner disappeared in PvE mission. After that you're going to see the title, which is basically bug reports. There is no need to change it. And then you will have to describe the issue. Please describe as detailed as possible. For example, I was playing yesterday PvE normal mission and in a place where Heavy Gunner should have spawned, he didn't spawn. I see the health bar on the top, but I can't kill the Heavy Gunner because it didn't spawn. After that, if you have recorded a video, make sure to upload it to YouTube as unlisted, copy the link and paste it in the description of the issue. If you took a screenshot, make sure to click on upload files button and attach your screenshot to the ticket. And now let's get back into our diagnostic data. Whenever it's going to be finished, you're going to see report created, thank you for waiting. Click on done and the folder with the diagnostic data will be automatically opened. After that, try to attach the diagnostic data to the ticket and if that doesn't work, make sure to upload it to one of the cloud services. 
for example Google Drive and then copy the link of that file and paste it in the description of the issue and write them here is my diagnostic data I wasn't able to attach it to the ticket. And after that click send and that's it your ticket is done. Usually Warface answers the tickets in two business days. So if you sent your ticket for example in Saturday so Sunday is not a business day so you should expect an answer in Tuesday. It's very important not to send Warface another ticket for the same issue again before they answered on the previous ticket. This will just make the ticket go in the back of the line again. Anyways that's it for this video, I really hope that now you learned and you know how to send your ticket correctly. And instead of complaining on social medias or in discord that this or that doesn't work well or it has a bug, make sure to send the ticket so Warface can discover what causes the bug and maybe fix it in the future updates. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video, make sure to smash that like button if this video was helpful for you guys, make sure to subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys very very soon. Thank you and bye bye.